In the previous lessons about the internal structure of the Earth and the theory of plate tectonic, it was explained that the outermost rigid layer of the Earth, the lithosphere, is broken into several segments called plates. And these lithospheric plates are in motion. Did you know that there are a number of competing uh, theories that attempt to explain what drives the movement of tectonic plates? Kung matatandaan nyo, during the time of Alfred Wegener, when he proposed the theory of continental drift, though he presents several evidences that support the theory, many scientists did not believe him. The reason is because he failed to explain the concrete mechanism on how plates move. Na present lang niya or nakapagbigay lang siya ng different evidences na kung saan nagpapakita na merong paggalaw sa plates pero nag-failed siya to explain o hindi niya naipaliwanag kung paano gumagalaw ang mga plates. That's why maraming scientists ang hindi naniwala sa kanya. For today's objective, at the end of this lesson, you should be able to describe the possible causes of plate movement and analyze the process of convection in the mantle. Three of the forces that have been proposed as the main drivers of tectonic movement are convection in the mantle, ridge push, and slab pull. Pag-usapan muna natin yung tinatawag natin na convection current. Scientists believe that one of the forces behind plate movement is the convection. When we say convection, it is a method of heat transfer that happens due to the movement of molecules in a fluid. Ito ay paraan ng pagpapasa ng init dahil sa paggalaw ng molecules. So bakit ba gumagalaw ang molecules? Ito ay dahil sa pagkakaiba-iba ng density. Difference in temperature in the fluid causes different densities. Clear natin ang convection current. Okay? Na nangyayari dito sa example natin kanina, yung sa pagpapakulo ng tubig. Eh, yung convection current, nangyayari din daw sa loob ng ating earth o doon sa mantle. Kapag ka tayo ay nagpakulo ng tubig, ang source ng heat natin ay yung stove. Okay? Nanggagaling dyan yung apoy, ipapasa niya yung heat niya o itatransfer niya yung heat niya dito sa lalagyan. Then, magkakaroon ng pagpapasa ng heat sa loob through convection current. Dito naman sa ating mantle, ang nagbibigay o ang source ng heat natin ay yung core. So, the nearer the material to the core, the hotter it is. And the farther the material from the core, the colder it is. The hotter material will go up and once the temperature decreases, dahil mas malayo na siya sa core, it will go down. Okay, the colder material will go down and eventually be heated. O yun. Yung mga material na malapit dito sa core, syempre mas mainit yung kanilang temperature. Ang tendency ay aakit sila or magmumove sila upward. Yung colder materials naman will go down. At dahil malapit na sila dito sa mantle natin, eventually, iinit din yung kanilang temperature. Once its temperature increase, it will go up again. And the cycle will go on and on and on, creating what we call the convection current in the mantle. Mantle convection is the process by which convection currents occur in the inner layers of the earth due to the differences in temperature. Dahil magkakaiba yung temperature ng mga materials na malapit sa core at yung materials na mala malayo sa core, ang tendency ay nagkakaroon ng paggalaw. Ay nagkakaroon ng convection current dahil yung mga mainit mater na materials aangkit pa at taas at yung malamig na materials naman ay magmumove downward. Nagko-continuous yung 
cycle. Convection current in the mantle moves the lithosphere, which floats in the asthenosphere. Notice the direction of the movement of the arrows. Some arrows move in clockwise direction, while the others move in counterclockwise direction. These directions are flow of convection currents leads to the different types of plate boundaries. For example, convergent plate boundary. Nakikita nyo dito kung ano yung direction ng convection cell o yung convection current natin. Here in the left side, convection cell flows clockwise direction. Right side natin, counterclockwise direction. This movement of the convection cell in different directions allow the plates above them to move towards each other. It's a divergent plate boundary. The convection cell on the left side follows counterclockwise direction, while the convection cell on the right side follows clockwise direction allowing the plates above them to move away from each other. This convection current nagpuproduce siya ng dalawang forces. First is the ridge push. Ridge push is the gravitational force that causes a plate to move away from the crest of an ocean ridge and into a subduction zone. Yung heat ay mag-move siya upward hanggang sa makarating siya, siya sa divergent boundary. Okay? Pagdating niya doon sa ridge uh, area, ang tendency ay i-push niya palayo punta hanggang doon sa subduction zone. Kaya tinawag na ridge push. Okay? Nangyayari ang ridge push sa divergent boundary. Ano naman yung mangyayari once na yung older crust ay na-move papunta sa subduction zone? Mangyayari naman dito yung tinatawag na slab pool. Ito ay isa ulit force na nakikreate in convection current. It is the pooling force exerted by a cold, dense oceanic plate plugging into the mantle due to its own weight. Nandito tayo kanina kay Ridge. Okay? Si Ridge push, itutulak niya yung older crust. Hanggang sa marating niya itong subduction zone. Pag sinabi natin subduction zone, ayun yung lugar na kung saan yung mga older plates ay magsasubduct at hihilahin niya yung sarili niya. Dahil nga mabigat na, di ba? Hihilahin niya yung sarili niya pababat dare daretso kagaya ng isang chain. Once na nalaglag siya, dare-diretso na siya. Kasi nandun na yung bigat. Diba? And because also of the gravity, hihilahin niya ngayon dare-diretso. At dahil mabigat siya, ang tendency nun ay mag-move na siya pababa. Okay? And because of that movement, Ang mangyayari, yung mga older plates na yun, mapupunta siya ngayon sa pinakailalim. Malapit na siya dun sa source ng heat, which is the core. Ang mangyayari sa kanya, matutunaw siya. Okay, isummarize natin itong Earth's mechanism. So, meron tayong tinatawag na convection current in the mantle. Convection current happens because of the differences in temperature that causes differences in density. Okay? The colder the material, the denser, mas mabigat. The hotter the material, less dense or mas magang siya. Materials with higher temperature will go up hanggang sa makarating doon sa ridge. Then, mangyayari ang ridge push wherein it is a type of force na itinutulak yung mga older crust, itutulak na mga younger crust, yung mga older crust, 
hanggang sa makarating doon sa subduction zone. Then, mangyayari yung slab pull na kung saan yung gravitational force ay hihilahin yung sarili niyang bigat hanggang sa makarating sa baba. Then, mauulit ng mauulit yung process. 